SARMs, are they liver toxic? I'm Dr. Tony Huge here with G of Gains by the Day who is under doctor supervision getting blood work done while on a SARM cycle. And we've got the analysis, we've got the lab work from uh, five weeks apart before ever doing SARMs or supplements or steroids. Nothing, totally natty, uh, not training. Uh, the state of his body before was that he was drinking alcohol, not working out, and then the state of his body afterwards is no alcohol, training hard and taking SARMs for five weeks. The SARMs that he took were AC26253 at 20 milligrams a day, S4 at 50 milligrams per day, and ACP-105 at 20 milligrams per day. This is very high dosage of SARMs. This is because the doctor wanted to know what happens when you take a high dosage so we could definitely see in the lab work the effect on your body. Now we have the data. The data is, the uh, AST and ALT are the two tests that we did for the liver, although there is a, a gamma GD test that's even better. We just did the basics. Uh, the, the net effect is there is no net effect. I'll give you the numbers in a second, but uh, before you were drinking alcohol, not training, and then after the SARMs, you're not drinking alcohol, but you are training. So alcohol and training can have a similar uh, impact on the AST, ALT, output. So for example, I go to a very experienced doctor, they say my liver enzymes are elevated. They say, are you working? Did you work out hard within the last 48 hours? I said, yes. They said, okay, well that's normal. Your liver enzymes are going to be artificially inflated because of that. So his liver enzymes are likely artificially inflated after the, after the SARMs at five weeks in. And yet still there's no increase in liver enzymes, which means to me, there's no liver damage whatsoever off of five weeks of triple the normal dosage of SARMs. The AST went down. It started at 77, which is a little on the high side already anyways, uh, and it went down to 63. So your liver enzyme for AST went down with the SARMs, uh, which means l less liver damage. I mean, it's, it's an overgeneralization just to take these numbers and just say, the impact on the liver because there's so many factors, but it definitely didn't cause liver damage. Right. The ALT or the ALP went from 84 to 93, a slight increase within normal fluctuation range. The net effect is no effect on the liver. I've reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different people's lab work with SARMs, and I have never seen a case where they've increased liver enzymes directly because of the SARMs and enough to be any amount significant. When I do see liver increase, uh, enzyme increases, it's usually because a person is training harder. SARMs let you work out harder, longer, and lift heavier. And as a result, liver enzymes increase artificially. I could see if someone trains extremely hard and their liver enzymes go up a little bit, then someone would misinterpret that information as being the SARMs themselves increasing the liver enzymes, which I don't think is true. Now, I'm open to feedback on the comments of anybody who's had any liver damage, but um, I've never experienced it, never seen it, but be aware that if the SARMs aren't pure, and this case we used HPLC tested SARMs, mm -hmm. um, so these are 100% pure, but I could see if the SARMs were spiked with pro-hormones, uh, then there could be liver toxicity, which is possible because pro-hormones are super cheap, SARMs are more expensive, so if a company were to put pro-hormones in the SARMs instead of the SARMs, then it would result in liver damage and people would think, oh my god, SARMs cause liver damage. No, it was because your product was spiked with pro-hormones. Mm -hmm. And now we can see the difference, of course, in my lifting um, ability as well, and we're going to see that in different videos as well, where I went from literally being able to not lift even a bar, just a bar, a single bar, to 225 yesterday, uh, which uh, bench pressing, of course, and you're gonna see that later on, like I said, um, I can feel the difference. I mean, it, it, it's not just a physicality uh, thing, but it's like an internal, uh, and we're both pioneers of truth and freedom. So we will report exactly what we find, no bias, no misinformation. If there's something good about a compound, we'll tell you. If there's something bad about a compound, we'll tell you. And we're telling you from our personal experience and from experiments on ourselves under doctor supervision with doctor analysis. I don't think it gets any better than that. Um, and that's so. what I'll keep doing because I, I want to know for myself. Absolutely. I'm learning. I'm learning off of your experiment. And then we're just sharing what we're learning ourselves. Be swole and swole, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution.